Welcome back to Five Step Steve, the game where you can only move five times before dying. However, if uh, you touch another flag, that lets you reset your moves and actually move more. Now, we got an interesting level here involving some ice tiles and a conveyor belt. If something goes on the conveyor belt, it moves in the direction, and if it goes on ice, it slides until it gets off the ice. So, because there's two conveyor belts, this box goes back and forth forever, and here, <laughs> I get launched up, and then... Interesting, so I gotta figure out how to get past this to the flag down below. If I go down, I end up right here. I can go back up, then down. Okay, so moving up sends me down, and I can push the box down, let me escape. Interesting. Oh, there's a star down there. Hidden star, but first more level. Lots of rocks to push. I can't just go up, because the rock will almost push me out of the way, but at least what that does is get the rock out of the way. I can't do the same here, because there's not enough space. What if there's two rocks? This works. What I probably need to do is push this rock up then over so there's two rocks in each column because that way I could at least like open it. It almost kind of feels like a key entering a lock, the rock lock, and then move on. This is neat. I got to rescue my friend down below. Well, that's interesting. What happens if I go here? Oh, okay. There's a minor problem. This conveyor belt's always going to send me down unless there's something rigid is in the way, such as a rock. Now, I don't know if I can do anything with that. You can't push a rock into a flag, so if anything, I'm kind of stuck. So let's try again. Can I push a rock down far enough? Like this. So here is at least going back and forth. But I need to be above the rocks when this happens. Wait, no, no! Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Maybe I need to start from above and then go like this? I need to get this flag, but now I'm stuck. Unless if I double back like this... And that lets me actually, no, damn it. I'm gonna die, so close. Okay, we were onto something there though. Cause here is safe. I need the rocks to like push me upwards. Yeah, cause otherwise it's six moves to get to the flag. The rock needs to push me up somehow. Yeah, I don't know how I'd wanna think about it. I mean, I know how I'd wanna think about it, it's just unsexy. And I want a sexy solution to a sexy puzzle. Maybe there's a sexy solution out there. Like you see how I just got pushed up here? Is that the solution? That's the solution. Okay, I knew it. I had to have the rock push me. That was sexy. A lot of rocks, a lot of conveyor belts. Good lord. So, I guess at the very end, I gotta store a rock here. Just the conveyor belt doesn't send me away, but how do I get to that point? So, I, like, gotta use the other rock somehow. Like, I gotta get a rock here eventually, but then I can't get to the flag. I could slide down here. Maybe push this? Maybe not. Maybe don't push it. What if I go here? I can at least get to this flag. And then I could put a rock on the conveyor belt. Okay, I can head back up now. What can I do with this rock? I can push it down. Interesting. So, doesn't really change how it interacts with the rock yet. Maybe that's a bad rock spot? All I can do here is come down. Ah, uh, but I need a rock down here. From here, one move doesn't save me. Oh, that even resets the rocks. How dare you? Oh! Because the rock was on the ice up against the flag. It, it's a solid wall. Okay, two moves. Can I get to a flag from here? Because conveyor belts ruin a lot. I would have to go this way? Yeah? Okay, this could be interesting because now from up here, I could slide down like this and then make it to safety at this flag. Oh, cool. Hell yeah, dude, you can get so much depth out of only moving five times. I was gonna leave by myself, but I don't trust teleporters, they're dangerous. I trust them. Look at the map. I can still go down, see what's down here. Uh, two cats and a spike. Yeah, so I guess I could push the cat up here. Well, I don't know, spikes kill me, but you like, stay there afterwards. So as much as I want to go up, that just gets us both. How is this possible? Oh, you get more cats because one cat spawns in with the level. So all these extra cats at least means I can keep dying and replicating myself and then eventually push. <laughs> and when the cat reaches the flag, it revives. Okay, so because there's a cat that starts with the level, I get a new cat every time a death happens. So, dead, yeah. But now there's three of us. And also the respawn of the checkpoint. Here, make it a little further. But I can't go anywhere else. I can die here, 
but what else? Now, now there's just two of me. Hold on, though. What happens if I die here? There's three of me now. I'm just saying, there's two cats. Die again. Wouldn't I have four cats now? Wouldn't I? No, I wouldn't. Okay, so I think it actually has to do with checkpoints. Because both these cats hit the checkpoint at the same time, they're both saved in the most recent checkpoints. So now I have three. So if I do a right now of three cats saved at the same time, when they all die, I should have four cats now. So now I can do this and get myself two cats down here, which should let me push it, slide it, and get out. Oh, that's cool. All about the checkpoint. So the star is an extra challenge, and I definitely want checkpoint manipulation. Of course, I don't know if this works. Oh, there we go. Got the cats to be able to hit the checkpoints together, because now at least they can go down. Oh, but if I hit the checkpoint again, doesn't that change it? Yeah, it does. Because I'll only get one cat back. I need three cats. The checkpoint seems mandatory. Oh, no! I can walk back and forth and die that way. Yeah, I don't need to die on spikes. And the thing is with the cats, I mean, you've probably figured it out by now, but when the cat dies, becomes gray and becomes pushable. And I can just push it across, and here I am. So now, I would want to get more cats in a similar way? Well, I want to get the star. I could rescue a dude. I really want the star, though. So, if I die, there's two of me. Another thing I could do is get two cats, and then run back and forth. So then... I would still have three cats now, because two from the last checkpoint. And then, if I could get a fourth cat, that would be ideal. Oh, but that... No! Damn it, that's wrong. I have to reset the checkpoint. Oh, that's frustrating. Because I would again want three cats on the top to be able to get a second cat at the bottom. But that would mean having all three cats hit the checkpoint at the same time, which I think should be doable. I think it would look like this. All three cats hit the checkpoint. So then I... No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Hold on. I can't have a spot where it's two cats on the checkpoint either. So back it up. All three cats. So we go down. I can go down again. But if I go up, I'll hit the checkpoint. Wait, no. I could go right. And then I could dodge back and forth. Let these both die. So now I have four cats. Four cats means I can just send another cat across. Two cats. Push you here, and then push you here! Let's go! First star, that was tricky. Um, a little awkward. But I'm back here now, now I can just win the level normally. Oh, that was so sick. We've looked everywhere, and there's still no sign of Captain Laika. Where could she be? The goal of the game, find the Captain Cat. I wonder if I could get the other stars using that technique. Ooh, I'm gonna try. So now that I understand this better, I can actually probably get the star. Yeah, can I use this to get five cats? This feels like a case where I have to start up here, maybe get both of these cats at the same time? What if um, I maybe had the last respawn be here? And then worked some death. So now I have three cats. Maybe if I send this down? Maybe I could get three cats at the same time here. Like I can go here, 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 and then down, down, down. This is three cats at the same time. Three cats at the same time, let me respawn them then. So now I have the potential for five cats. There's the fourth one. And quickly, don't let them die. Because, I mean, don't let them die anymore. Because I, I can kickstart this whole process. I think this works. I think this just barely works. I can push and push and get the flag and the star. Ooh, sick puzzle. Dude, I love this. So here, I wonder if I can use that same technique. Well, actually, I just let it die here. Then there's two of me down below. Um, I think I would just need a third one of me. Like this. So just back and forth. Three of me now. I think that just wins. Well, I have to be wary of the teleporter. I also have to make it all the way left. I don't know if I have enough moves to actually get there. So there's probably gotta be four of me, right? Yeah, that's the play. Okay, three cats saved at the same time. Uh, but there's no way to move for all of them to leave at once. Okay, so I would almost need to save three cats at the same time, like, like 
here? Almost? Please don't teleport me. Fuck! Oh, that ruins everything! Somehow they all gotta be positioned directly below their flags. Does that work? I don't know right now. There we go. Yes, it is possible. Because now, with they're all on the flag, I can take them off and then just back and forth, get rid of them all. Four cats. So now three cats go solve the puzzle, and one hangs back and just camps on a flag to give me more moves. Do not accidentally teleport out of here. Please. I beg of you. Fascinating. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I wish there was an undo so bad. Four cats. Don't mess this up. Yes. Okay, there's just so much to keep track of. This is kind of ridiculous, but... But push, push, push. Oh, wonderful. That's so awesome. This game is sick. Back to exploring new grounds. I guess from here I can go right. I can also go up. I imagine this leads towards the one star I haven't gotten to yet. Purple land. This is all about freeing cats. So I could send this over this far. Um, that doesn't quite help me free anybody yet. Actually, it, I think it's pretty helpful for freeing. Because from here, at least, I can push it down. Two cats. And then I could just get more. So, cat duplication. Kill them. For three. Three cats. And I need a fourth one to go up. Should be pretty easy. There they are. Now, I just gotta make sure I can go up easily. Yeah, looking good. Hey, there's that star. Nice. It's back to this level normally. All I really need is a second cat to help get me through, yeah? Like this. Here. I guess I just gotta use... Well, do I think I can rescue this cat? Do I think I need to? I wonder if I would just be better off pushing or having three cats on the left side. Because I think the benefit of having three cats here is that um, I can push one over. But then after all that, I can still push a second one over. And now I have two cats here, so I can just win this way. Just ignoring half the level. Ooh, blue cat. Ooh, these rocks moving along the conveyor belt feel like a timer. Now the nice thing is, when I die, I get to reset that timer. And that's a lot of cats on the inside. Actually, yeah, what happens if I die here? Well, I have all these cats left, but they're all stuck. Oh, so I see. I almost gotta, like, maneuver the cats on the inside so I can push the rock up twice. I only have so many moves I can do this with. Yeah, the rocks do serve as a timer. So I have to do this in the proper number of moves, otherwise I get blocked off. I was thinking like, yeah, I get the rock up this high. At least here, I would have access to more cats. But I think the catch is, with more cats, I probably could save more of them? There's no flag on the inside. I, I could do a couple things though. I could, I could still do a couple things. Now that I have the cats back, I could start sending them through one at a time. One at a time. And once I have them all here, I have a cat here. I would need a second cat now. Oh wait, no, I'm pretty sure from here, if I just die, the rocks reset, but I have this checkpoint. Okay, this is fine, right? Because I could wait for the rocks again. Yeah, just spend some time waiting for the rocks, and then beat them to the spikes, and then use the moves for the cats on the inside to move, and the rocks to push me up to the flag, just barely. This place is a... Actually, I don't know what this is. It looks pointless. Well, from here I can explore down, see if there's anything here. I don't have enough moves to get past the rocks. What about this side? Is this magically easier? It doesn't look like it. I mean, at least I can go this far. Oh, it actually is easier on that side. Oh, I've, is that the catcher level? Oh, and based on the <laughs> uh, conveyor belts, is the left one always possible? Actually, this doesn't look possible either. Yeah, I think actually it's the right one that's only possible twice. So I almost have to work backwards here. If I start here, then move right, then I go back up. But if before being shifted, I end up here, then I would be sent once right and not again. Because with the conveyor belts, you only get shifted once per step. So I would have to land on this spot after being shifted, which I think is kind of curious. Would it work like that? 
Yeah, but I don't have enough steps. There's a six, six step process to get out. But I could maybe go this way. No, that keeps me stuck. That's not right either. Oh, I don't know if this actually works, but um, what if I go left from here and then down? Aha! Yeah, get me out of there. So this star is possible somehow. Well, I think I would just need three cats, which doesn't sound too bad. The main thing is getting this cat back. Well, that's actually not too hard. So here, I would almost want to create a situation with uh, saving both cats at the same time, then killing them both off, so I would have two cats, and I can get a third quite easily. I think I could just let... No, I can't let that die. I can do this. There we go, three cats. Now with three cats, I can actually win, maybe? Like this? Here? Yeah, I can quite easily get to this flag and the star. Damn, I love these puzzles. Absolutely love them. So, um, after you finish rescuing us, do you want to hang out with me? Yeah, sure, maybe. We'll see. Okay, what's to the right? A lot of ice. Like, a lot of it. Oh, it's red. That means very difficult. Okay, this seems to be a challenge of getting the rock to push me across the spikes, which right now is not happening. So I would almost need to start the rock on here, get back to the flag, and then try to make it here in time? Yeah, okay, perfect. Here, I would almost want two rocks to push me across the spikes? Yeah, I guess that's the case. So I would start by kickstarting it. Um, and then, wait, I don't have enough moves here. No. Okay, I would instead need to come back to the flag, then to here, then one of these checkpoints, and then if I could get two rocks, or at least like one rock just in the way, Oh no, I would need both rocks to be in the way, actually. Oh god, ow, that hurts. Yeah, because I'm not just being pushed across the spikes, I'm also being pushed across this piece of land. So that mandates the third rock. Oh, if I go like this, I can actually come back to this checkpoint. That might be the key. Because here I should have enough moves to set this up and then Go there! Yes! Okay. The lake below us looks pretty, doesn't it? It's nice to just sit here and admire the view. Lake? In this? Oh, <laughs> this being a lake? The frozen ice? Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Whatever. It looks like there's something down. Oh, interesting. Do I have to use the edge of the map to my advantage? <laughs> That's clever. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, your move reset at the edge of the map. I dug out this crater with my bare paws. Just kidding. I used 60 pounds of dynamite. Hell yeah. Merka. So I can use that technique to then go right. A locked door? I thought we were past those. Well, no matter. I guess it'll unlock eventually. What's left? Lots of rocks. This seems to be like very basic uh, Sokoban, actually. Just how do you create a path to get by? Oh, it's uh, quite easy. I think I can do that. And the benefit of it basically almost reduces it to the previous part. Yeah, those last couple steps were just basically the first half of this level. Are you a bodybuilder? Because you sure did push a bunch of heavy rocks around. Why, thank you. Saw the doors unlocked, but I could go where I've always been. Or been able to go. Oh, we haven't seen splitters in a while. Oh, interesting. What's uh, the catch? Can I duplicate myself here? Realistically, no. Hmm. I don't get this right now. I guess I'm gonna need either a bunch of rocks to push me. I think I'm gonna need a, a lot of me's, but it's not possible without splitting. Hold on, if I die here, I could come back and then instead choose to die here. And then I can make it a little bit further. Checkpoint here and then die here. And that can let me come around to here, die here. And then I can make it to this flag and die up here. And once I'm at this flag, I could then be the one to make two of me. And now that there's a ton of me, I should be able to win, right? I just need to get past the rock. How do I do that? How about this, where I have two of me checkpointed and I come back with two of me? What can I do with this? Maybe I go down first. 
then left, then maybe up. Maybe from here, I can at least get the rock out of the way? Not really. Oh, oh, I know. I could have one of me push the rock over and then the hidden one push it up. Now there's enough of me to actually win. Here I go. <laughs> cool level. A lot of splitters. A big rock chain. So I'm not sure what this level wants for me. There's only one other cat to get, but all the flags are non-checkpoint flags, except the one in the beginning. It seems like I would need three cats to get past, but maybe one of them is a rock? No, I can't get a rock past this flag here, so that's no good. Oh, so I've just got to get to the duplicator, it would seem. Yeah? Oh, but like I can't get past that row of spikes. Easily. Maybe it's possible. Unless if I'm able to get, I don't know, a third cat just to get going on the conveyor belt itself? Maybe I need to have some sort of setup where, um, I don't know. Or like one of me is above the line and the other is under it? Yeah, what good would that do? I don't know. Probably nothing. This looks impossible. Well, okay, okay, okay. I could maybe, maybe lean into the idea of like, using a rock. Yeah, hold on. The way I see it, I'm pretty sure I could just go in, send them there, and then go one rock at a time. Actually, yeah, this might have some merit to it, because here I can actually get the cat on the line and make more cats. So many more cats, uh, enough to win with, I would imagine. Uh, I created one and lost one. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I feel like I would want to just start sending them up if I could help it. And then using that to make a bunch of me. Now there's a ton of me. Just place them in here, place them in here. That is cool. That is so cool. I have nothing except clever to say. Sorry. No need. The puzzle said all the clever things. But I have yet to go to the right here. That's a lot of strange flags. I've been rock blocked. Oh, oh. This feels like a level of figuring out how to die. <laughs> because the only way to get past this rock right here, because I can't keep pushing it right, is to reset and have the rock respawn in its original position. So I would do it like this in order to get past the rock. Now, how do I get past the other rock? Uh, probably by going through the flags that don't act as checkpoints. So I can get all the way up to here, go back and forth, and then beat the rock. <laughs> How do I die? Well, how do I die again? Because I gotta get to the pink flag, and I guess I could just start with that, and then I gotta push around a way for me to be able to lose, somehow. I am surprised this is losable, actually, but lo and behold. That sheep might not be too bad. Uh, I would imagine it's just a few steps at a time. Something like this, or I can go back and forth. That's all it takes to beat that. That's cool. Whoa, you should be more careful. You could have died. <laughs> that would be terrible. Surely that hasn't happened before. And I've still yet to go right from here. And according to the map, there's actually not much else. Oh, but actually this could be a giant section. There's a lot blocked off. Let's go up first. Oh, a star. Uh, okay. This has scary maze game vibes. I think it's just a free star. Thanks. I could go down, but I also haven't gone right. What the... The hell? Is there some sort of catch to this? I feel like I'm being pranked somehow. Maybe it's just in passing. Yeah, maybe it is. Okay. Whoa, the big rocket. 555. Five, five. Hold on. If that's the case, I'm coming back. There's another thing to explore. Oh, yeah. The last kitten. No cat left behind. It's me, Laika. A vicious dog kidnapped me and stole our ship. Thankfully, it's gone now. By it, hopefully you mean the dog and not the ship. As far as I can tell, I've been everywhere, collected everything. So, Steve entered the spaceship with all the kittens he rescued and flew away into space. Because the ship was carrying Steve and the entire crew, it exceeded its maximum capacity by one. I took six cats instead of five. 
The extra load caused it to run out of fuel on the way back home. It crashed into a nearby planet to be continued. Let me know if you want to see the sequel, because I think they do more with, like, different amount of steps. And I would love to check it out. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.